So today we are going to discuss about polysaccharides, linear, branched, as well as modified. Basically, we are going to discuss about overall uh, carbohydrates. Is mute your system? So carbohydrates constitute carbohydrates constitute one of nature's three classes of organic compounds. The other two being the fats and the protein. Carbohydrates are exclusively made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen only. Carbohydrates are broadly divided into three categories, that is monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides have typical character that it cannot be further hydrolyzed to smaller molecules because it is itself smaller molecule and building block of the carbohydrate. They form building block of the more complex carbohydrates. Oligosaccharides comprise the low molecular weight polymers that include the disaccharides and trisaccharides and compounds with as many as 10 monosaccharides linked together into a single molecule with alpha 1, uh, 4 uh, glycosidic linkage. Now, examples of different classes of monosaccharides, you can see monosaccharides are having examples of trioses, which contains only three carbon units. Uh, example of trioses are dihydroxyacetone and glyceraldehydes. Tetroses, for example, erythrose and triose. Pentoges, for example, arabinose, deoxyribose, ribose, and xylose. And hexoses, for example, galactose, glucose, fructose, and mannose. Examples of oligosaccharides include disaccharides like lactose, maltose, and sucrose. Trisaccharides like raffinose. Tetrasaccharides having four carbon units uh, uh, like uh, stachyose. Polysaccharides have examples of pentosins uh, like arabin and jalan. Hexosins like cellulose, galactan, glycogen, mannan and starch and complex polysaccharides include gums, hemicellulogic and pectins. In case of polysaccharides, carbohydrates contain more than 10 monosaccharide units. They can be hydrolyzed into hundreds or even thousands of monosaccharide units which are contained by them. You have seen that there is difference in suffix in monosaccharide as compared to polysaccharides. In monosaccharides, O's is added to uh, uh, monosaccharide units, whereas ANS, are used, you, uh, ANS uh, uh, suffix are used uh, in case of polysaccharides. As for example, pentosins include gylans and arabans. It means uh, gylans include long chain of monomer gyloge and arabins include long chain of arabinose monomer unit. Hexosins include galactans, mannans, as well as glucans, and complex polysaccharides include gums, mucilases, algal polysaccharides, alias, alginic uh, acid and carrageenan, bacterial polysaccharides like xanthan gums and pectins or pectic substances. Now, uh, you must know that polysaccharides are available in infinite, uh, infinite variety in nature 
in various plant materials and each of them have different structural types. These polysaccharides are broadly classified as homopolysaccharides as well as heteropolysaccharides. Under homopolysaccharides comes various uh, polysaccharides like perfectly linear polysaccharides, branched polysaccharides, linearly branched polysaccharides, and modified polysaccharides. Homopolysaccharides possess either simple linear structure or branched structures of varying complexity with more than one type of interunit linkage, that is alpha-1,4 glycosidic linkage. Homopolysaccharides contain same structural units throughout the chain. Its example include glucans, that is starch and glycogen, fructans, mannans, etc. In case of perfectly linear polysaccharides, there are single neutral monosaccharide structural units, means it has only one type of linkage in neutral monosaccharide units. Usually it is insoluble in water and can be solubilized only under drastic conditions. This also have tendency to precipitate from solution in the dilute solution and this precipitation tendency is known as retrogradation. This is very important character of starch. Branched polysaccharides are more soluble in water as the chain-chain interaction are less pronounced than linear polysaccharides because of side chains uh, arising with or joined with alpha-1,6 glycosidic linkage. Branched polysaccharide solution have lowest viscosity and lower tendency to precipitate as compared to linear polysaccharides of equal molecular weight and concentration. They are able to form sticky paste at higher concentration, probably due to side chain side chain interaction. So, these branch polysaccharides are used as binders or adhes ad uh, adhesives uh, in formation of various food products. Next comes linearly branched, uh, linearly branched polysaccharides. As name itself explains, that this linearly branched polysaccharide will have properties which will be combination of perfect linear and branched polymers. This has long backbone chains with short side chains, for example, alkyl cellulose. These have long backbone chain, which is responsible for high viscosity of the solution. Numerous short side chains present in this linearly branched polysaccharides weakens the interaction between molecules being responsible for good solubility and rehydration rates and provides stability to highly concentrated solutions. Now comes modified polysaccharides. This is prepared to suit particularly uh, prepared food products. A number of physical and chemical methods are there which can modify the properties of polysaccharides uh, to make products suitable for specific purposes in the food industry. Binding of neutral substituents uh, to linear polysaccharide chain, for example, hydroxypropyl cellulose is responsible for increased solubility, viscosity, and stability of the solution. Similarly, binding of acid groups, that is uh, uh, with uh, carboxymethyl as well as sulfate groups is responsible for increased solubility and viscosity. So you, you have seen that binding of neutral substituents as well as acid groups to modify uh, to normal polysaccharides can modify their chemical as well as physical characters suitable for specific purposes. Now comes heteropolysaccharides. As name itself explains, it will naturally contain two or more types of monomer units. Its example include glucomannan, which will include glucose as well as mannose in the chain. Next example, 
is arabinose xylans, which will include arabinose as well as xylose uh, monomer units in the chain of heteropolysaccharides. These heteropolysaccharides can be linear or branched to varying degrees with different types of branch points. Typical sugar units found in polysaccharides include D-fructose, D-galactose, D-galacturonic acid, D-glucose, D-glucuronic acid, D-manose, D-manuronic acid, D-gyloge, L-arabinose, and L-dramnose. In this table, you can see various homopolysaccharides occurring or used in foodstuffs present in nature in abundance. First example of uh, this homopolysaccharide is glucans, which is available in five types of uh, polysaccharides, namely amylose, which has linear uh, structure having alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage, and it occurs in starchy materials. Next example of glucan is amylopectin, which is branched polysaccharide having alpha 1,4 as well as alpha 1,6 glycosidic linkage, and it is also present in starchy material. Next example is glycogen, which is highly branched compared to amylopectin having same glycosidic linkage that is alpha 1,4 and alpha 1,6 linkage, and it is exclusively present in uh, uh, animal tissues, especially liver and muscle. Next example of glucan include cellulose, which has linear structure of uh, glucose units having beta 1,4 4 linkage, linkage, and it is available in cell walls of all the plants. Next example is beta glucan, which has linear structure of glucose unit with beta 1,3 and beta 1,4 uh, glycosidic linkage, and this is present in cereal grains like oats and barley uh, and other uh, cereal grains. Next important example of homopolysaccharide homo is fructans, uh, which is uh, having branched chain uh, with uh, beta 2,6 and beta 2,1 glycosidic linkage, and it is also present in various plants, for example, wheat endosperm. Next example of fructan include inulin, which has beta 2,1 glycosidic linkage, and this is linear structure. This is present in Jerusalem antichokes. Next example of homopolysaccharide is arabinans, which is having branch structure with alpha 13 and alpha 14 glycosidic linkage, and its polysaccharide name is pectic substances or pectin. It is present in sugar beet and citrus uh, fruits, etc. Next example of homopolysaccharide includes xylans which is having linear structure with beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage. This is also present in cell walls of most of, or in uh, cell walls of the plants. Now comes heteropolysaccharides occurring or used in the foodstuffs. Its examples are here. One important example is arabinogylans, which is having arabinose as well as gyalose units. This is branch structure and occur in all the plant cell walls, and it is also present in wheat flour. Next polysaccharide is glucuronogylans, which is branched uh, heteropolysaccharide present in plant cell walls. Next is glucomannans, having linear structure with glucose and mannose, and it is available in seeds. Next example is alginic acid, which is having linear structure of glucose and mannose, and it is present in brown seaweeds. Next example is guar or carbo, guar gum or carbo gum, which is having branch structure uh, of uh, galactose and mannose, and it is also present in leguminous seeds. Next. Uh, comes carrageenan, which is having linear structure, and it is available in brown seaweeds. Next example is pectic materials, which is having uh, linear structure of 
galactose and rhamnose, and it is also present in all the plant materials. Next example of heteropolysaccharide is gum arabic, which is having branched structure and it is also present in trees. For example, especially acacia species. Next example is gum tragacan, which is also having branch structure with galactose, jalose, and fucose, and it is uh, available or it is present in trees, especially astragalus species. That's all about carbohydrates, basic information. Thank you.